Ah, oh, here we are. At our first site, we're going to look out for this urban fieldwork investigation at Stratford Newtown. So when you're organising a piece of fieldwork or conducting fieldwork, you have to think about geographical context. Working at a school, um, you've got to, or going to school, you've got to consider accessibility. For us working at a school in South East London, we want to be able to go somewhere that is easily accessible, as we're only going to be able to go for the day. So for example, Stratford for us at our school is very close. We can get to it on the overground and the underground, and it can take us about 45 minutes to an hour to get there, so which means we're able to do it in the day uh, and be able to go home at night. Also, when you're looking at investigation, you want to have everything available that you're wanting to look at. So in this instance, looking at Stratford, we're able to have three different sites. We've got here Stratford Newtown, um, we're going to go to the, the um, Olympic Village and then on to Hackney Wick. We've got three different sites that show the impacts uh, and negative impacts of regeneration in close proximity, which means we can collect lots of data, lots of different data in a uh, short period of time looking over a day. So here we are in Stratford Newtown and I want to look at the idea of sampling strategies. So when you collect data, you want to try and make your data as reliable and accurate as possible. To do that, you have a different, you have a range of sampling strategies. The first sampling strategy could be a random sample. A random sample is simply when we're here, we're going to collect data in a random part of an area. We could then have a systematic sample where, for example, you might interview somebody every two people you see or if you're doing something else, if, uh, you could do every other person. As an example, you're consistently collecting data in a, in a systematic manner. And the last one is stratified. A stratified sample is in strata. You could be looking at groups of people. So for an example, you could look to interview only females, okay? Or you'll be looking for only vans, as an example, to see the type of demographic and to see the type of transport in the area. So you've got three very different samples for when you're collecting data in an urban area. And the idea is to make your data as reliable and accurate as possible. So here we are once again in Stratford Newtown. And what we've got here is an investigation booklet. This is something that we give to our students to be able to work through and take notes when we are at the chosen sites. So to make our data more reliable, when we're at each site, we're going to go to three different places in this area. So starting point, we would start further down the road here, where there's an old pub that's now turned into a residential home. We would then come here outside the community centre, and then we would go further down there outside a garage. All sites are within 100 metres of each other. So there are 100 metres to each site. That means that it's in a systematic measure where we're collecting data every 100 metres to try and make it accurate and more reliable. With that, um, we will then do this each site. Okay, so each site will go to three different places and we'll collect the same data three different times at three different places. The more data you have, the more accurate your, um, and reliable your fieldwork is. And with that, you're able to see anomalies and see different bits of piece of information to start to work out how does this help us answer our overall research question at looking at the regeneration success environmentally, economically and socially at the regeneration of the Olympics um, in Stratford. So um, what we're going to do in our next few videos is actually start to look at some of the regeneration um, methods or techniques we'll use to measure how regeneration has impacted the, these three sites. So stay tuned for some more great geography in action.